So here I am at the Flamingo in Las Vegas. My hotel for a week. Yes, it's gonna be a seven day vlog video. Just showing you what's here and what we get up to. So yeah, let's go and get some breakfast to start with. And here we are for breakfast. And here we are for some 99 cents Bloody Marys and $6.99. Two eggs any style. And there it is. Already started making a wrap and I'm 99 cents. Bloody Mary. So we're about to get on the monorail, just putting in there. And we're gonna go and see if we can do some shooting. And for the first time you get to meet Miss. Oh, Hi Steve. Hey, <laughs> How you doing? Hey, enjoy Vegas. Pretty good, Alright, let's get on this monorail. Going past the spear. Massive. Here we are. Strip gun club shooting range. Steve's itching to get his hands on some guns. <laughs> He's flying through the door. Right, let's go see if we can get booked in. <laughs> <laughs> and there we are, the view of the strip of the stratosphere. What a view that is. Oh, wow. And there's the spear doing some weird stuff. <laughs> oh, he's looking at us, but watch out. And there's the amazing golf course in front of it as well. And here we are outside on the observation deck. What a view! There's one of the rides. And here's where it's. If you jump off, that's where you jump from. Below us. But yes, what a view. Somewhere over there is Area 51. Somewhere in the distance. We should go hunting for that. Tell you what, it's not out here though. Oh. Alright. I don't know what we're going to do, else we're going to do today. Maybe we go down to Circus Circus or something. Just down there. Nice view of the uh, spear. Yeah, going to enjoy being here for a bit longer. Maybe grab another beer. And uh, just relax for a bit. Well, it's a good start in Circus Circus. Just got the bonus. Not working. A pirate ship at Treasure Island. Sadly, they don't do the show on it no more, and all the water's disappeared. What was on it? Yeah. Ship still here. Just. Well, it's now nearly midnight. On our first four day in Vegas, we arrived on the Sunday pretty late. So I'm pretty tired, so I didn't bother filming. Before I start today, Monday, Monday the 2nd of September is actually Labour Day. I don't actually know what Labour Day is, but after shops weren't open. So yeah, we're in the Flamingo. Thought I'd give you a little check of the room. Two beds. I haven't used that one yet. Slept in that one last night, pretty comfy. Didn't bother getting a maid service. Thought that's just more tips you got to pay out for. But yeah, I've uh, bought myself a... Uh, Carlos, or Car yeah, Carlos, since 1910, a bake shop, an XL carrot cake, so, looks pretty nice, it's been sitting here longer than 15 minutes now, what they recommend, so I'm going to crack into that in, in a minute, but yeah, I thought I'd just tell you, day one was done, had fun shooting, never shot a gun before, that's quite entertaining, didn't last very long, it was about, <laughs> about, 
two or three minutes per gun without bullets. But yeah, it was quite a lot as well. It was 100, $184, I think, for build your own, which is uh, pretty steep, but also fun to do. Went up the stratosphere, got our monorail ticket for the next five days at least. So yeah, been a pretty successful day. Tomorrow we've got a couple of shows booked. We're gonna go try somewhere different for breakfast. And yeah, probably make our way down to the other end of the strip, away, we, not the Stratford, uh, Stratosphere end, because the shows we've got booked are at Mandalay Bay and the Luxor. I'm sure they're the two. So yeah, we're going to see uh, Michael Jackson 1 and the Blue Man Group. So yeah, a bunch of men dressed up, well, painted blue, I guess. So yeah, I thought I'd just show you the dig's pretty high up here. Don't know what you're going to see because it's quite late at night. But uh, here it is the Las Vegas Strip. Let's see if we're facing the wrong way. Need to go the other way. There's the uh, Bellagio. Not seen the Fernand show yet. That'll be quite fun. So, yeah, we're, we're pretty, pretty, cent pretty central. There's the old Eiffel Tower. I could have opened the curtains, probably there's buttons that open it automatically. It's amazing. But yeah, we're gonna eat my cake and go to bed because we've done about 33,000 steps today. <laughs> Quite a lot. Hopefully we won't do as much tomorrow, but we're, we're, we'll see. So yeah, day one is done and I'll catch you in the morning. Here we are, day two, technically three. But yeah, second morning here, waking up in Vegas. Yeah, like I say, we've got a couple of shows to go and see today. Other than that, we're just gonna move around. Might go New York, New York today. Have a look down that end of the strip. And uh, yeah, first we need to get ready. Cause we're gonna go and get some breakfast. I think we're gonna go try out Ocean One today and get a egg and steak or steak and egg whatever you want to call it breakfast so yeah let's get ready and get out in this lovely sunshine today currently only 6 30 in the morning but yeah when in vegas you don't sleep that's why you live off starbucks coffees every casino has got a starbucks so <laughs> i just got ready i was about to leave i thought i'll dig out the tickets ready for the show today turns out i got the days mixed up Today is the Cirque du Soleil show at the MGM Grand, and Thursday is the other two shows. So, yeah, good job, I'll check that. But yeah, let's go get some breakfast. There's the breakfast menu. But of course, we're only here for the one thing. Wherever it is, lost it. Steak and egg. Mm. Steak and eggs. So we're inside the Bellagio. There's some sort of like nice, nice garden thing, a little waterfall there. It's really good. Got a little lake in there, loads of, loads of koya cot. Ah, lovely. Fine an art gallery of a Richard McDonald. Looks quite nice. Inside New York, New York, one of the more 
better hotels for scenery. Like walking through the streets of Manhattan. Look at that. Restaurants outside the cool buildings. Yeah, gonna spend a bit of time in here. The Link Promenade, a famous selfie museum. Yeah, just have a look, see what's down here. Here's a show we're going to watch tonight. Cirque du Soleil at the MGM Grand. So yeah, we're out on the uh, streets of Las Vegas now. The next morning, couldn't get any footage of that show, the KA Cirque du Soleil. But wow, what a show! Absolutely amazing. Well recommended. People were getting thrown all over the place, it was brilliant. But yeah, the security guard was right behind me, so wasn't able to do any filming. So yeah, very sad news. But yeah, we're gonna go and get some breakfast probably down the Miracle Mile again. All right, let's go. Oh, I've had to try some American pancakes on the way. Syrup to go with it. And then obviously a breakfast as well. And two dollar beers at Blondie's. Walking over now to the famous Caesar's Palace. Considering it's just across the road from our hotel. Um, I haven't been here yet. We're literally staying there in the Flamingo. So yeah, let's go and look at Caesar's Palace. famous cheesecake factory. Look at that. Inside forum shops. Lovely aquarium behind. Right, let's go get some cheesecake. Oh, so many flavours to choose from. Unreal. Oh, oh look at that. I'll be eating that in a minute. Right, that cheese for cake factory was lovely. Oh, just a bit sickly, I couldn't even finish all the cake. Oh, too nice, too nice. All right, so I haven't really told you what we're doing today because I woke up so late. Um, this afternoon, well, the evening, about a couple of hours time. It's around about 3 p.m. now. We've uh, come back to the room for a little rest because it gets a bit hot and tiring walking around. We've done like 30,000 steps a day. Oh. We're only on like the third full day here. Right, we're going to do Cartzilla, which is one of Las Vegas's newest attractions. Should be a bit of fun. And then later on tonight, we've got a helicopter ride over the strip. Yes, looking forward to that one. I might even video the whole thing. Make a separate video of it for you all to check out. So yeah, look out on my channel for that one. But yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs now and have a little bit of fun, do a bit of gambling and uh, might as well take you along, show you a different couple of different machines. This is what I'm going to play on today while waiting for uh, good old Steve. He's having a little afternoon siesta. So yeah, let's go downstairs. Right, we're going to play a bit of puff and puff. It's a good one. Oh, yeah. never fell off and let me down. Oh, let me take it. Give me the puzzle game, come on. Game. Yes, it's gonna be the bus for the stuff. Come on, all three. Give us a sing out our mansion. Oh, I need something more from that. Give me a forty dollar bonus. Lovely, Johnny. Not bad for uh, fifteen minutes of game time. Lovely sixty dollar profit. Cartzilla cancelled on us, so that was a no-go. We tried to get in the spear, and uh, we literally just missed the uh, tickets for that. So we're back there Friday now. But I thought I'd show you Tetris. Looks pretty cool, that. 
So yeah, we've got a really cool to ride later, so I don't know what we're going to do now. Go and get drunk and gamble, I guess. I'm in Virgil's, I've ordered the Bloody Mary. Oh my word, what is that? <laughs> Some trash ribs, brisket, mm. biscuit. Mm. Mash and cheese. Like That's what I started eating. Well, we didn't get to go on the shopping cart, Cartzilla, but the bus is here now to take us on the helicopter ride at least. Happy days. Welcome to the morning of day four. We're gonna go get some breakfast now in the Venetian. It's a lovely little shop here we just found. But yeah, that helicopter ride was like amazing last night. Definitely worth it going over the strip. I put a few little clips in for you. But uh, yeah, definitely worth going to check out. Right, today we've got the two shows, the ones I talked about the other day or <laughs> weren't what we didn't do. Blue Man and Michael Jackson one. But yeah, we're gonna go have a look around the Venetian, check out the Grand Canal shops and Check out where the gondolas are, and then we'll see what we do for the rest of the day. Oh, French toast in the Venetian. A croissant, sausage, egg and cheese, and an OJ. Not bad, $30. Oh, yeah, that's Grand Canal shops inside the Venetian. Historic gondola timeline, all the way back from 1094, 2019. Look at this old thing. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's, that's where you book it from. I think you can get on it. So this is one of the actual gondola people that take you around, so it's waiting for some customers. All right, hello everyone. As I said, day four, uh, around about lunchtime now. Just thought I'd give you a little bit of a update of what we're doing today, because I haven't really said. So first of all, I had a lovely Bailey's slush thing from across the road with like tax and tips is about $25, but I'll tell you what, it's worth the money. I've also been to Dunkin' Donut, got myself a couple of donuts. Looking forward to them, I ain't had Dunkin' Donuts for years. But yeah, we went to the Venetian. We was gonna to go to Denny's for breakfast, but the queue there was probably about an hour's wait. And yeah, we had a little bit of a lay-in today, so we didn't bother. But I'm glad we didn't, because we went to that little food court and I got that French toast and that um, croissant pastry thing, whatever it was, with a uh, ham, and I'm making cheese in it. Oh my God, them two things were absolutely amazing inside the Venetian food hall. Then we had just a little look around the Venetian. And I said on the way back, been to Dunkin' Donuts, been to a little shop, got a few supplies, quite cheap. Next door to Dennis, there's a little, I don't know what, what it's called. It's got a big W. It's a supermarket type thing. If you do know in there, let me know in the comments because I ain't got a clue. But yeah, we've got two shows booked today. We're going to see Blue Man Group in the Luxor, that starts at five, which is about three hours from there. And then tonight we've got Michael Jackson one, starting at 9.30 over in Mandalay Bay. So yeah, we're gonna go down there, get them on the row up to, what's it called, MGM Grand crossover, guys, to check out Excalibur. We haven't, these are the only three hotels now that we've not get, gone in and visited, on the strip anyway. So yeah, we're gonna go and do that. And also from the disappointment of the cart zilla yesterday, uh, we don't know if we're gonna rebook it or not, which is a shame because I thought I think it would be quite good, but oh, it's fitting in now because we just wasted all that time when we booked in for that. We've now got the spear booked for tomorrow. So we're gonna go and do the spear. We also wanna try and get in the Eiffel Tower experience when I go at the top of there. So we'll probably squeeze that in tomorrow night. And I think tomorrow morning we're going down the art district. 
or downtown, one of them two. Probably the art district tomorrow. Probably do downtown on Saturday. But yeah, I'm gonna finish up my drink, eat my donut, and then we're gonna go downstairs and make our way down to Excalibur. So yeah, hopefully we can do a little bit of filming inside the theater for these ones, although I doubt it very much. But yeah, I'll let you know what the shows are like and whether they're worth going to see. All right, I'll see you down at Excalibur. We've nearly made it to Excalibur. Well, yeah, we'll go around the outside of here and then go across over there. All right, let's go. Great racing nights, look, it's Donkey Derby. Da 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 Wow, look at this view. All the hotel rooms. So I said we're here for the Blue Man Group. So we're a little bit early, we're gonna go get a drink and stuff. But uh, tell you what else I got here, Titanic bodies. Whatever that is over there, is that little, there's a toot and calm and thing. King toots around here. Looks quite cool. Yeah, you got loads of little Egyptian style stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go and have a look in the Blue Man's shop. Blue Man Group shop, see what they got. Jackson one in the Mandalay Bay. Look at that. It's all right, so we are here starting day five. Yes, I've shaved on my hair this morning. Look at that. Nice skinhead. That's what we like to see. Bit of it in Vegas. Me yeah, was growing too long. Right, so today, well, let's talk about last night because we was tired and we was rushing back for the monorail because we come out of Michael Jackson one at like just after midnight. Uh, not midnight, just after eleven. Got back here just before midnight and just went to bed too tired. But yeah, went went around, looked around Excalibur. There weren't really much there. There was that show with dinner that looked quite good though. The uh, tournament of kings. That one looked, looked like quite a fun one, but that's about all what was there. Luxor, there was loads of exhibits there. I think they were a bit pricey though. It was around about $30 each. And then obviously you probably got to pay tax on it. But we did see the Blue Man Group while I was there. Oh my God. If I can recommend you to watch any show in Vegas, go and see the Blue Man Group. Wow, what a show. What a show that was. And it's only cheap. I think we paid 38 or $39 for it. Cheap as anything. Where can you go and see that? Oh, I can't even get breakfast in half of these restaurants for that price. Very, very entertaining. I'm not going to ruin it. You see a little clip in there, but yeah, definitely go and see it. It's uh, very interactive, should I say. Uh, you might you might get involved. <laughs> yeah, and then after that, we went over to, uh, what is it? It's not uh, Mandalay Bay. Mandalay Bay, the furthest one on the strip. That's where it was. Mandalay Bay, and we had a look around there. We got some food in one of the places, I think, Blue or Sank. I forget what it was now, but you see it in the video, Saint Blue. Went in there, had a nice little burger, and uh, watched some live singers for a bit. And then we went over to watch some Michael Jackson one. Well, that's another show that I can recommend. Now, I thought it was just gonna be like a Michael Jackson singing impersonator like type thing. But no, because it was a Cirque du Soleil one, there's a lot of acrobatics in there, throwing themselves all over the place. Definitely, definitely recommend that one. Although I still think, the KA one the other day was just a little bit better because they were doing a bit more death-defying 
tricks, whereas this one was more based on singing and dancing. But yeah, they were still throwing themselves all over the place, definitely worth watching. But yeah, today, we've got the spear booked up. After the disappointment of Cartzilla the other day, we've got, we went over and put the spear, so we've got that at 4.30 today. But before that, we're going to head down to the art district and go and have a look, get some breakfast, and I'll do a lot more filming today because I've never been down there before, and I'm sure there's going to be loads of stuff down there to have a look at. So yeah, then I think tonight we're going to go over to Paris and check out the Eiffel Tower. So that's what you've got to look forward to today, and the Bellagio fountain at some point. Probably see it out of this window, it's right there. Well, that building's probably just in the way. Needed a couple more floors up. But yeah, we're going to check all that out today. So stay tuned for that. Here we are at the dot art district. Can't see much art here. But we're going to the Bungalow Coffee Co for breakfast. Lovely waffle, cheese and uh, sausage patty in there, and a nitro coffee. And chips. Steve got chips. Glaze, <laughs> Cowie, Mickey Mouse, Rick and Morty, Stewie. These are pretty cool. We are in the main area of the art district, playing across the road. It's quite nice. Let's go check this place out. Brew here on site. Nice, we've got a flight, Van Oak, Mosquito Bite, Panic Rev, and a pea, peanut bar stout. Looks nice. And a free sticker. Real Mexican food. Taco and a wet burrito. There we are, back at the spear. We've got our tickets this time so we can get in. Yeah. Should be a good show this. Hopefully a good film time before. The earth was the hand that fed us, the blanket that warmed us, the cradle that rocked us. Big old shopping centre down next to Treasure Island, opposite Wynn. Wow, all right. Look, this must be new, I've not seen this before. Just stopped at Habit Burger and Grill in the food hall. It's all right up here, got a few bits and pieces. Come just come for a char burger and a milkshake. Well, the art district was fun yesterday. Quite enjoyed that area. They reckon it comes live at night and 10,000 people are on the streets. But yeah, they had, they had a few decent shots there. I've got a few bits. I'll show you what I've got in a minute. But yeah, we, we went over to the Eiffel Tower. It's $32 to go there. It's not too bad. But they didn't accept cash. It was card only. So 
we didn't bother doing it in the end because we've got loads of cash we need to use and we don't want to keep chucking stuff on our card same as breakfast down at the uh, art district we had to pay for that in card they didn't it's cashless but yeah we went over to the Bladio. that's fun what's the fancy show there there's a lot of street artists there that try and draw you in and get your money but just say no thank you to them and just ignore them and walk off they leave you alone eventually but yeah we went to that little supermarket bit that was quite nice um, yeah missed that the other day when we was walking along so we went and checked that out after the spear the spear was amazing managed to get some footage for you I'm not going to spoil it for you you have to go and watch it it's great and today we're going to go downtown so down to Freeman Street pretty much for the whole day we're going to we're leaving now it's not even nine o'clock yet we're going to go down there have some breakfast probably have lunch down there as well who knows we might even be down there for dinner but yeah we're going to go down there have a look around there's a few bits there I know there's the mob museum and a few other bits so bit of the Berlin Wall so yeah we're going to go check that out but first I'm just going to show you over there what I picked up from the art district art district so this is what I've got I've got a Patriots little pendant Ghostbusters 2 stickers from the 80s couple of Xbox 360 videos two towels and I wanted to learn how to play craps so I bought a little electronic one and Huddle give us a free sticker when we went in there for our beers so it's our last time going up on the monorail we've had a five day ticket it's been pretty good we've used it to go back and forwards all over the place and yeah it was only 45 47 dollars but yeah we're gonna go out on the lift now we're gonna get the elevator we're gonna get the monorail for the last time so yeah 47 dollars for a five day pass so you literally just put it into the machine ah it pops and you're in. Container park. Yeah. That's pretty madness. That looks quite nice, that. All made out of recycled metal, I think. Pretty cool, this. Slotzilla. Found pink box inside the plaza. It's quite nice, eh? Circa. Yeah. Oh, them ones. Oh, wow. Well, couldn't resist getting a piece of poo. I don't know what's happened to his eye, though. Right, we're at Main Street Station where apparently they've got a bit of the Berlin Mall. So let's go and see if we can find it. Hell of a skinny escalator. And here we are, we found the Mob Museum. We're gonna go check it out. See what it's like inside here. Here we are, Mob Museum. Let's see how much it is. Crimes Italian. New York had a long history of gang warfare. There were Irish. Hot dog and a beer. 
Oh, $2, this place is much better. Last night, yeah, got my fancy flamingo top on. I could just fall asleep right here, though. It's been a long week. Final night out in Vegas, hitting the town. Oh. But downtown was fun. Never done axe firing before. That was a bit bit of a laugh. We went to a uh, mob museum. Went in my very first speakeasy. See a bit of the Berlin Wall randomly in the toilet on Main Street had a poo donut <laughs> and had a two dollar beer and hot dog from the famous Grand what more can you see what more could you ask for Denny's breakfast as well went and checked out that little area of all containers and it went back there because there was like a uh, Shot the dumb video games and stuff, I wanted to have a look in and it weren't open when we first went there, but yeah. We've come back to the hotel, we've been chilling for about two hours on now, I'm just waiting for Steve, he's gonna message me when he's leaving his room. I'm gonna go and find somewhere for dinner. But yeah, probably won't be a late night tonight, it's already nearly eight o'clock now, so probably just gonna go and get some dinner, have a couple of drinks, and then go to bed ready for a long day traveling home tomorrow although our flight is not until 9 50 at night so yeah quite a while before we even uh get our flight but we've paid for this room until four o'clock so i thought that'll be all right after that we just go and grab a bite to eat and drink somewhere with our cases and then jump on uh uber probably to the airport but yeah let's go and see what we're gonna do with our final night here in las vegas Whee. Mm. Dragged myself out of bed. Just want to show you my shirt. Look at that. All flamingos on it. Perfect, perfect shirt for the, for the Flamingo Hotel. Promenade at night. Lovely dinner. And last night of gambling. Nah, got to pack on my suitcase ready for tomorrow. But I think I'll do that in the morning. I'm gonna go to bed. We've had a fun day today. All right, see you for the final day tomorrow and a bit at the airport. And then that'll be it. Sad times. Bye, Vegas. <laughs> And here we are, the final day. We've just had our McDonald's breakfast. That was lovely. Steve's checked out of his room. His bag's in here now. And yeah, we're just gonna go and, we're gonna go down to Miracle Mall, have a look. Have a look down there. And then chill and go to the airport. But yeah, probably need another holiday after this holiday. <laughs> it's been a mild one. Hollywood Walk of Fame, eh? Yeah? Like the Hollywood Walk of Fame. What a lovely hot day. Gonna miss the weather back in the UK. Really, really hot in America. I would have liked more Vegas. Oh, roasted. Tipsy Robot, make your drink for you. $1 million for them one signatures. Hey, not bad. Oh, 
back at McDonald's for our lunch. We are now open. Same disco ain't open though. Alright, let's go up. Let's see what we can get for lunch. Alright, we're back at McDonald's. Sad to see such a standout hotel in the middle of the strip. In the middle of the strip. Strip. Being knocked down. Mirage. Here we are, sitting in the book. What was it? Sports book for Sunday soccer, whatever you want to call it. Loads of games going on. But we've got our bags, we're very sad. We're going back to the airport soon to go home. But let's try and figure out what this American football is all about. And here we are, I've made it to the airport. We're looking for E3. As always, if you didn't do enough gambling in Vegas, they've got some more slot machines here for you to play. There's some duty free to spend your money in. Yeah, I don't know what else is much here, but uh, we're going to have a look. Right, let's go check out the duty free or do fry shopping. That's how much that big, <laughs> big bottle of knob cream, $47. Yeah, it's expensive in here. Don't buy anything duty-free. As he says, keep walking. Last minute Vegas gifts. Wow. $20. Wow, 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 wow. Must be just chop us. Still got NFL. Been on all day. Literally, it started like 10 a.m. this morning. Now, nearly 8 o'clock at night. How can you watch it for 10 hours? That's a lot. And anyway, here's the Raiders. They lost this weekend, as always. <laughs> and here's where you just walk through if you're coming on a domestic flight. That's where we come in when we first got here via San Francisco. Literally no passport check, anything. Straight in. It was great to start doing internal flights more often. Uh, even down here, people are still playing. They've not gambled out yet. Yeah. Not me, I'm still walking around looking what's here. A word you don't see very much in Vegas, pub. And this is definitely not the sort of pub you'll be seeing around. This is a restaurant. There's some more gambling things. We're at the end of the terminal now. So we're going to go back. Finish this video off. Oh, that's it. The seven days, eight days, whatever you want to call it. Vlog is over. Seven day vlog of Las Vegas. Now I've learned a few tricks and tips and stuff for this place so i think i'm gonna do a little follow-up video so yeah just to, to give you a bit of advice about the place tips coming from someone who's <clears throat> not from the country an english man one that will help a lot of international travelers not so much the americans it might hold them a bit but yeah there's other tips that i can give you for people from outside these states so yeah please do subscribe like if you want to see all them sort of videos and yeah that tip video should be out shortly i'm going to record it when i get home and yeah hopefully it helps a few of you but i hopefully you've enjoyed this little vlog and what's here in las vegas and as always i'll catch you in the next one bye for now